Hey everybody, welcome back to Dead Man DZ's Kanji Study Sessions. We got 12 new vocabulary words coming at you from the JLPT N3 list. This is a writing study practice, so I'll be writing every word with kanji I know down three times, or five times, depending on how long the word is. And if it's a word or a kanji I don't, sorry, not a word, a kanji I don't know, I'll write the word kanji down ten times and try to memorize it that way. I'm a writer to memorize. If you're not, this might not be the lesson for you. But you might be able to use the lists as a study practice for the JLPT M3. Um, if you need to watch any of my old lessons, they're on YouTube. Uh, check out the link in my Twitch. And if you need to check out any of my lists, head on over to Google Drive, also from the Twitch page. Our first word for the day, day 285 of Kanji Fukushu, or review, is irai, since or henceforth. Ijo i on the left side is our first kanji, whose meaning is by means of, because, in view of, or compared with. In this sense, I like to think of i as kind of a barrier, because often it's followed by a location word, before, coming, um, above, or below. I ka is not above a certain thing or below it. Ijo is not below a certain thing or above it. And irai is... Rai is our kanji for coming, so i rai, henceforth or since, marking it comes after this boundary of coming things. So it's kind of looking to towards the future. I rai is since or henceforth coming after a certain point. I rai is henceforth or since. I rai is henceforth or since. I rai. Irai is henceforth or since. Irai henceforth or since. Irai. Irai henceforth or since. Number two is O oh, ya. Yeah. O oh, on the left side is large. Ya yeah, on the right side is house. So the big thing in the house is your landlord or land lady. Oh, ya. Yeah. Not sure why. It's just big house uh, that means landlord or landlady. Um, it's probably a colloquialism that just caught on. Oh, ya. Yeah. The big house, the big important thing in the house is the landlady. I'm thinking of the big landlady from um, Kung Fu Hustle. She's kind of a big lady. Oh, yeah. Like a big house means a landlord or landlady. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A landlord or landlady. Oh, yeah. Number three. Sumaseru. To finish, to make an end of. Sumu on the left side, is to end well or to end something. Sumaseru is to finish something, to make an end of something, to get through something, or to let end. Sumaseru. Sumaseru. This is a transitive verb, so you're going to use it with our particle wo, as in you are physically letting something end. Something is not ending on its own. You are doing it. Sumaseru. Sumaseru is to let something end. Make it end or let it come to. Sumaseru. 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 Number four is a bonnetto. Bonnetto is either a car hood, which in America we sometimes call a bonnet, or an actual bonnet like a hat. A bonnetto is a hat. Bonnetto. 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 Bonnetto is a bonnet. Number five is a tema. A tema is a theme, topic, or subject matter, a motif, or a project. 
close to close to the English theme, or as close as Japanese can approximate. Tema is a theme. Tema, or a project. Project or a theme. Tema. Tema, a project or a theme. Tema. Number six, uke tori. Uke or ukeru is to receive something. Toru is to take. So this is a receiving by taking of something. A receiving or a receipt is an uke tori. This is the noun for a reception or a receipt. Uke tori. Take and receive something is a reception or a receipt. Uke tori. A reception or a receipt. Ukeetori. Ukeetori. Number seven is another easy one. It's just uisuki. Uisuki is whiskey. 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 Whiskey is whiskey. Whiskey is whiskey. Whiskey. Number eight is a gicho. Gi on the left side is a deliberation. Cho on the right side either means long or the leader. So the leader of the deliberation is going to be the chairman, speaker, president, or moderator. Gicho. The president, speaker, chairman, or moderator. Gicho. Gicho, the head of a deliberation. Gicho. Chairman, president, speaker, or moderator. Gicho. Gicho this liberation leader. Gicho. Gicho. Gicho this. Number nine is Maka. Ma on the left side is her truth or reality. Aka on the right side is red. So to be completely red is to be truly red, is maka. Bright red, deep red, flushed, or complete. There's a series of these words where they pronounce ma, followed by chisaitsu, and uh, some color. Makuro is completely black. Mashiro is completely white. And maka is bright red, deep red, flushed, complete, or utter. Maka is bright red, flushed red, completely or utter. Maka is completely red. Maka, completely red, bright, flushed, red, completely and utter. Number 10 is Riko Gakubu. Ri on the left side is logic. Ko in the center is for construction or engineering. Gaku on the right side is for learning. And Bu on the right is a part. Together we have a Gakubu or a, de a department, a section of learning, a department of learning. And on the right side, sorry, the left side we have Riko. Riko is the logic of engineering. So together we have the logic of engineering department or the department of science and engineering. Rikogaku is the department of science and engineering. 
。飛行学部、すみません。飛行学部、is the department science and engineering. 飛行学部。飛行学部。飛行学部飛行学部飛行学部 The Department of Science and Engineering Number 11 is our first new kanji of the night and only new kanji of the night with hosu Hosu is to air, to dry, to drain, to drink up, or to deprive of a roll, or to keep it, you know, keep them dry of the roll. Radicals in this kanji, it's made of the radical for drying and parchment. Um, you could separate it into one over ten, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to say this is a dry, parched place. The way I'm thinking about it is, you know, this first line here is kind of looking out on、uh, your eye line on kind of a flat plane of nothingness. So it's dry or parched. Hiru or kan is. Hiru or kan is dry or parched. Hosu. To dry, to air, to drain, or to drink up. Hosu. Should be transitive, I think. Yeah. Hosu. To dry, drink up, or deprive of a job. Hosu. Hosu. Also. Number 12 is Sono Uchi. Of the previously mentioned, among them, before long, soon, sooner, or later. Sono is kind of that, and Uchi can either refer to something that, like, Sono Uchi ni, like at that time or in some period of time. Uchi just means house, but it can also mean kind of,、um, kind of a location or a container for things. So, uchi in this case is referring to sono. Sono is referring to uchi in the sense. All right, that doesn't make sense. Let me, let me start over. <clears throat> uchi is either used to describe、um, an action that is about to occur or an action that was occurring. Like some duration of time is the uchi. Like if I went.、Um, so, That's the period of last week. Like during the period of last week, Senshu is last week, Kan is the period of, and Uchi ni is kind of while, like while in the period of last week. And Sono in this, in this word is just referring to whatever that previous thing he mentioned. In this case, it's last week. So Sono Uchi of the previously mentioned time period of week among. That time period a week before long, soon, or later. Among them and before,、uh, sorry, among them can refer to when this word is used to describe、um, not a duration of time, but maybe a category of people, a category of things. So it can kind of mean a few things depending on context. Sono uchi is of the previously mentioned group, among the previously mentioned group. Uh, before long, soon, or sooner or later, from whatever time period or duration was mentioned. Sono uchi. Sono uchi is of the previously mentioned before or sooner or later. Let's go back to the top, make sure we've memorized all these for right now. The second part of my study plan is to review、uh, at least like 100 words ish a day if you're just kind of blowing through it like I am or trying to blow through it. There are guys who can study 50 kanji a day, so I don't feel too superior to anybody.、Uh, our first word tonight was since or henceforth with irai. Irai is since or henceforth. Our boundary going forward, since or henceforth. A landlord or landlady is colloquialized to an oya or a large house. Oya, landlord or landlady. To finish or to make an end of something is sumaseru with our kanji for ending. Sumu. Kanji. Seru to make an end of. A car hood or a bonnet is a bonetto. Bonetto. Kitsaitsu to. Bonetto. A theme, topic, or subject matter is a tema. A close approximation of theme, tema. 
A receiving of something or a receipt. The noun for the receiving of something or the receipt itself is an uke tori. Uke to receive and tori to take. Uke tori. A whiskey is a uisuki. 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 A chairman, speaker, or president is a deliberation leader or a gicho. Gicho. Gicho this. Bright red, deep red, flushed, or complete and utter is ma. Maka is bright red, total and complete. Maka. The Department of Science and Engineering is the Riko Gakubu. Riko Gakubu. Riko Gakubu. I'm going to look that pronunciation up real quick just because those multi syllable words can get a bit uh, weird in their pronunciation. So let's look it up. Pronunciation Japanese. I've got to trust four though. Here we go. From Forbo.com is what I've been using for my pronunciation. Riko Gakubu. Hi, Riko Gakubu. It is the Department of Science and Engineering. The air to dry, to drain, or to drink up something is hosu. Hosu. Okani kan or hiru. And finally, of the previously mentioned, among some previously mentioned group of things, or before and soon, is sono uchi. Sono uchi. Thanks for watching tonight, everybody. Hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Domo, arigatou gozaimashita. Ja, mata ashita ne.